if quantum mechanics has not shocked you you have not understand it yet let's start with thomas young's famous double slit experiment his experiment proved that light is a wave We just did the double slit experiment with light. Now let's see what happens if we do it with a single photon at a time. We cannot say for sure where the photon will go. It might go through the slit or it might not. Even if it does go through the slit, it's pretty hard to say where it will stop at on the second screen. We cannot expect a wave pattern yet because only one particle has been sent. But after a while, as more and more particles pass through the slits and onto the second screen, eventually they will form a beautiful wave pattern. How'd it happen? Let us carefully observe the photon to see where it's going. Now it's behaving like a particle and not a wave. So wait, it's not a wave then? You have the power to change its behavior by just observing it. Either that, or the particles are just smart enough to sense that you are observing them and are just playing with you. You're literally determining the world. Isn't that a shock to you? To clear ourselves on the complementarity principle, we can do an experiment of our own. For this experiment, you need a really fast moving object to observe. Let's go to a highway where we can see fast moving cars. Go to a highway and just simply observe the cars.
field of view is 12 meters. It takes a car 360 milliseconds to pass the distance of 12 meters at a speed of 75 miles per hour. It is easy to find the speed of the car because both the beginning and the end points are stationary. Good! We found the speed. Now let's find its position. Oops! We missed it. So now let's try and freeze the frame. Yes! We got it! But hold on. Where is the car exactly? Is it here? Or is it there? When you freeze the frame, it looks like the car was pulled. It looks like the car is in several places. This is called superposition. How are we supposed to figure out the position while well, the car is in many places? So why not just try and follow the car? Catch up with the running car. Now let's see the position. Freeze, please. Great! We found the exact position. Now, what's the speed? What? Come on, how am I supposed to measure the speed while I'm moving? Since I'm not in the stationary position, neither are the beginning and the end points, how, how can I measure the speed? So both speed and position are complementary functionalities. Both superpositions and definite positions depend on your observation. Why don't you try some of them at home or on the road? <laughs> you, you might even understand them better. See ya!